Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day. Our thought is taken from the readings Joshua chapter 19, Isaiah 25 and Hebrews 8 and 9. And our theme is, I will be merciful toward their iniquities. Our Hebrews readings include a long quotation from chapter 8 verses 8 to 12 from the prophet Jeremiah. This starts with, Behold, the days are coming, and ends with, For they shall all know me, the Lord, from the least of them to the greatest. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. Hebrews shows how the old covenant through Moses had come to an end because Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. From verse 6. Once again, we see how the Bible has to be taken as a whole if we are to fully grasp what God has revealed to those seeking to have a relationship with him. We serve a merciful God, but we cannot expect him to be merciful if we have no real inclination to seek to know him. What a marvellous picture we have in Isaiah today, describing the result of those better promises. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, that he might save us. Chapter 25, verses 8 and 9. Death swallowed up forever. The whole world to ultimately become a Garden of Eden. There are more marvellous verses in the next chapter. You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. Verse 3. Because such know that God has been and will be merciful toward their iniquities. Yet this chapter has a sobering comment about he who does not learn righteousness. Verse 9. There are those of whom it is stated, they are dead, they will not live. They will not arise. To that end, you have visited them with destruction and wiped out all remembrance of them. Verse 14. A fitting conclusion to our thoughts is the last verse of our Hebrews reading. So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin but to save those who are eagerly awaiting him. Chapter 9 and verse 28. Well, how eager are you for this time? How are you showing your eagerness? Well, thank you for joining us once again for our thought for the day. May God bless you in all that you do. Thank you for joining us for another Thought for the Day. Join us again as we open the pages of the Bible together, remembering that God's Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.